Hello, I'm Chris. And I'm Sheree. This is a new series that we're going to be answering some of the frequently asked questions you guys keep asking us. The ones that we get over and over <laughs> and over again in comments, so hopefully we can answer them all in one place. So our topic today is... So one of the questions that has come up so often in our boating videos lately is, do we have a water maker for making our own fresh water? And now, water makers, for those who aren't familiar with boating, are amazing inventions. They take salt water and apply electricity and time and produce drinkable, fresh, super pure water. And they could produce hundreds of gallons in a day. So, I mean, it's basically, if you have a water maker, you've got all the hot showers you can possibly handle. And um, if you watch our friends, the winds, they have one on their boat and uh, they love it. Uh, it. Does make me envious that they have endless water all the time. But for our adventures of doing the Great Loop, uh, there's two things that are make it not really that advantageous to have a water maker on board. So quick, quick and uh, answer is no, we do not have one. Right, and we're not planning to get one anytime soon. But yeah, the two reasons that a water maker doesn't make sense in the Great Loop is one, a water maker works in salt water and a major chunk of the Great Loop ahead of us is fresh water. And the other reason is even with salt water, you want a clean source. Um, they work better with cleaner water and yeah. the places that we will be with salt water are gonna be very- Intercoastal. Uh, so not and marinas. And not necessarily the freshest. Along the Great Loop, uh, we're going to be uh, visiting a lot of marinas. We have to do pump outs because we're, uh, you can't dump uh, waste or sewage uh, less than three miles from shore and we're rarely going to be that far from shore. <laughs> so we're going to be using marinas at least to stop in and pump and, out our and tanks. Every marina will have water, uh, you know, free water fill. So it's, it's, it's really not a big deal not having a water maker and um, yeah, we're, we're pretty good with that for now and now if we ever do head out to the Caribbean where a water is expensive and B there's lots of you spend a lot of time anchored out in open salt water then it's a simple thing expensive thing but simple thing to add a water maker into our system yep. and a water maker requires a lot of maintenance so it's not something you want to install then not use <laughs> exactly. uh, because there is some maintenance to bring it back online so it's not practical for the next several years of our adventure but we do have it on our radar if we decide we want to keep our boat uh, longer term and go do more coastal Caribbean cruising, which could be in the cards in the future. Yeah, so that's our water maker answer.